executive producer, global mogul is here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the first African-American model to be featured on Sports Illustrated is here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> America's next top model, she's here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> America's Got Talent has had one of its most watched seasons when she turned it over. She's here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. New York Times bestseller author. She's here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. She's taught at Stanford University. She's a professor. She's here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Harvard Business School. She did that. She's here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. The one and only, the lovely, the magnificent Tyra Banks is here, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. <laughs> You are insane. Yeah. I, I feel like I needed to come on a stage with a mic and like music and like pyro after that. that you should be recognized. That was so beautiful. Thank you. I'm going to do it every time you come up here, wow. Tyra. <laughs> I'm going to expect it. I'm, if I run into you at the bodega, I'm going to say, can you please introduce the bodega? The sandwich purchase. <laughs> I got it. Just the best New York Times bestselling author. <laughs> it's ordering a turkey sandwich. She's here. <laughs> Chopped cheese. Chopped cheese. Be real with it. And producer, how you been? I've been so good. It's good to see you. Thank I, I, you. I, uh, we 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 were um, hoping to have you on the show when you wrote this book right here. Perfect is boring. Yes, I wrote that with my mama. And uh, what I thought was, I really, I find, um, I, I'm so we've been doing this so long that I always now I on, I'm only interested in the backstory. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the 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 surface Talk. aesthetic, I, I get beyond that. I want to know what makes a person tick. And reading this book and the influence your mother had on you. I know you. this book came out a while back. But we didn't get a chance to talk about it. Not uh, that, but, no, a couple months ago. Well, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. April. Was it, was yes, it April? Yes. April. April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, well, a couple months in this day and age. That's like years <laughs> yeah, now. So true. I was like, yeah. Um, what made you want to write this book with your mom? Yeah. Why was that important? Um, I wanted to show um, people a relationship that is like raw and real and unabashedly honest and truthful and my mom she didn't hide anything from me uh -huh. as that book shows and um yeah i just wanted to share that and now we might make it into a tv show i could see go. this and not a reality show like a scripted mm -hmm. show a scripted show yeah okay i could see that. that some of the things i thought were were interesting and um i'll share this as a personal story um when my daughter got, became of age and, and she had her first cycle um, oh yes, her period. Was yeah. she with you? She was with me. <gasps> oh wow. And, oh. and uh she was here in New York with me, uh spending time <laughs> with me and we had went to the movies that I, I I did daughter dates and I took her to the movie that night and um it happened that night. <gasps> Fortunately my sister was staying in town. My older sister yes. was with me too, because I, I admit I got caught off guard. <laughs> But they did a kind of a celebration. Oh, did they do that? That's yes. what my mom did. Did they have a period party? They had a period party. Did you, were you there? I, I, I provided the party favorites. Oh, wow. <laughs> we, 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 we danced and celebrated. That is so good. Yeah, That's my beautiful. mom threw me a period party back in the day. And you write about it in the book. I so when do. I saw this, I was like, okay, I didn't feel weird. Yeah. Why Why did your mom, it's, what was a period party for you guys? Well, my mom, uh, she threw me a period party because when my mom had her period, she went to her mom and said, mom, I'm dying. Dying, I'm dying, I'm bleeding. What's going on? And her mom just said, "You're not dying. You're a woman now." And that's it. And my uh -huh. mom didn't understand what was going on, so my mom didn't want me to have that experience, and she wanted me to be proud of myself and that it is a rite of passage of you know entering womanhood. And uh -huh. so we had a period party, and she got a yellow cake, and yeah, it was pretty cool. It wasn't red velvet. No, it wasn't. Oh, it was no, no, well, no. <laughs> Do men have an, an equivalent of a period party, like like a pubic party or something like that? Like, a pubic. I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> No, no, when our balls do? drop or something, I don't know. Yeah, like, maybe like, it's like your first wet dream. You guys celebrate that? I honestly was yeah. thinking that, but I didn't want to say it. Yeah. Okay, well, that's why I came in, Tyra. Mom, I'm good. dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to me? There was some other things. Um, I didn't even think you would have an issue with this, but uh, one of the chapters was Embrace Your, your Beauty. Mm, mm -hmm. And... Um, what, did you ever have an issue with how you looked? Well, I, when I was um, 11, I grew three inches and lost 30 pounds in okay. three months. So oh, between wow. sixth and seventh grade that summer. And I didn't know what was wrong with me. Doctors thought there was something wrong. And I was being tested constantly mm -hmm. uh, with needles and stuff because I thought I had 
some ailments, uh, but it turned out to just be a weird growth spurt. So I was really, really sad at that time. There was nothing. I wasn't embracing anything. I was just really, really sad. You was really sad. Yeah. Okay. But that moment, as well as other moments, have you know um, made me really want to be passionate about girls accepting you know the things that they cannot change and tweaking the things that they that they want to. And I'm fine with that. You're fine with that. Yeah. I mean, we do tie overs on um, Top Model, and uh-huh. I do drastic transformations, and yeah. Tyra Banks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm loving you right now, Tyra. I was, I was watching you on um, Andy Cohen. Does that sound like I'm like a, a stalker? A group? No, I'm, 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 it's I'm, just I'm, a lover. Appreciation. Yeah. I read about your period. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm trying to feel stalkerish right now. And we're going to talk about the movie in a second. <laughs> but uh, I was watching you on Andy, uh, Andy Cohen, and you guys started talking about dating. And um, oh gosh, yeah. this is now haunting me. Is it haunting you? Because oh, I'm coming into your building sway. There's the, like paparazzi down there asking me about what you're about to ask. Me. Yeah, and Andy Cohen asked you about dating, and, and this was well, this was what was revealed in that conversation. On average, how many people slide into your DMs every day? I don't check DMs. You don't check, oh, Tyra. I do you? love DMs. You do. I, love it. I dated a very famous recording artist because he hit me up in the DMs. Really? But I would go like into the restaurant first, and then he would go in after, or we'd go into restaurants that nobody knows. And to this day, you guys don't know I dated this guy. Really? And he was a DM slider. He was a DM slider. <laughs> It'd be working for people, Nick Jonas, but I Priyanka Chopra. They're about to get married. That was a DM her Twitter slide? DMs. No way. Mine was a Twitter DM too. But this is bef- this was a couple years ago, and I didn't know that that was a thing. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. But yeah, we went out. So I'm not going to ask you who, because I, I guess you're not going to reveal that <laughs> <laughs> at all. <laughs> who was it? Uh, um, but I did, we did a good job. Like I, I you know, this. There's a lot of people that will date somebody and make mm-hmm. it very public, and that actually does help your career and mm-hmm. all of that. But I'm all about achievement, not popularity. Hello. So I don't show my kid. I know if I show my child and do all these beautiful, look how he's, you know, can smize and walk mm-hmm. a runway <laughs> to the bathtub. You know, like I know that would get more followers and more engagement and stuff. But I try to keep my private life very private and just really focus on my work. Okay. Um, and so this person respected that. He respected. Well, okay. So I want to ask you who the person is but i'm just curious to what was the line he exactly. slid in your dm to make you go let me give this a shot i don't know i have to check it's probably still there huh. but like way down because yeah. i get a lot of those slides now and now i know what it is <laughs> before i didn't know uh-huh. and i said a dm slider doesn't that sound like a sandwich like a burger it does it, it is does. a slider, slider. I think they have those too. Like make it into sliders. something but oh. you know what i wonder a lot of times like as women We'll be okay with a line because we're already attracted to the guy. Yeah. But this another dude could use the mm-hmm. same line. And it would be disgusting exactly. and stalker and you'd report him. <laughs> yeah. It's so true. <laughs> Sorry, Tyra. But All I right. don't I, I you know what <laughs> that was <laughs> DB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was hmm. I bet he slides left and right, up, down, and sideways. Yeah. Um, everything. Now. Yeah, but yeah, it it worked all. on you. It, like if you slide in Tyra Banks DMs <laughs> and then it works, like that's gonna be your that's right, gonna be your go method to. every right, time. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna work. Uh, Tyra Banks is here. We're gonna talk about the film Life Size Two, uh, which is out December the second. Um, here's a taste of it right here. It's featured on Freeform. It's me, Eve, and I'm your special friend. It's time for you to go because I'm pretty sure you're crazy. Crazy for you, crazy girl. What did you just call me? Only your mom calls you Gracie girl. Can you please just leave me alone now? I'm here to help you, Gracie girl. Quit calling me that. Are you going to introduce us to your lady friend? Hi, new friends. I'm Eve. I'm a doll. Excuse me? That's liquid butter. I love her. I like this, man. (laughs) I like when I see you on the screen. What is this about? What is this movie about? Oh, so I did Life Size uh, the first one, 18 mm-hmm. years ago with Lindsay Lohan. I remember this. Um, and it was such a cult classic that I am now producing and starring in the sequel. Okay. 18 a... damn years later. It's crazy. And it's it's when I announced it, it was the biggest tweet I'd ever done in the history of me tweeting. <laughs> yeah. And all the things that you've all done. All the things. It got almost a half a million retweets and likes and stuff. Like, yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Are they anticipating Lindsay Lohan being a part of the sequel? Uh, so Lindsay Lohan is in she, it in a bit, in a very creative way. Uh-huh. Um, but um, you'll have to see it for that. Yeah. Oh, damn, Tyra, just you Cliff have to yeah. see it, man. You are so professional this morning. <laughs> damn, so I got to see But do you know it. about the remix? 
tell me about the you remix. You don't know about the remix. You guys got to pull up Be A Star 2 remix. You got to pull it up. Put, put the music. It up, put it up, put it up. Yes. Let's we'll, we'll, we'll see what we're talking so about. So there's a very famous song called Be A Star that mm-hmm. was our theme song for the first movie. Mm-hmm. And I I had to sing it. Like They were like, here's the song, and mm-hmm. you have to sing this song. And so I go sing it, and I honestly was not a fan. I was like, okay, I'm doing this. And then little girls everywhere, like, fell in love with this song. They became obsessed with this song. And every time people think about Life Size, they sing Be A Star. So I felt like as an executive producer and bringing the movie back, Mm -hmm. Uh that we needed to remix it. And who's on the remix? New Fears Eve. She's like this hot rapper. People say she kind of sounds like Iggy. Really? Yeah. You got that? Eve's great. Is that it? Yeah. Tyra Banks here, 888-742-2345. Call us. Be a star. Hey, you want to check? That's me right there, man. Come on, that's the remix. Be a star remix, and that's the new Fierce Eve is in this, right? Yeah, new Fierce Eve is rapping. Yeah, uh-huh. I think she's from Oakland. She she's from from, like from, she's from the town. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm from Oakland. I might Your know people. her. Yeah, I might know her. And then Janine the Machine. Janine the Machine. Yeah, uh-huh. Janine the Machine sings some of the like the, the cruising on the ocean and my mama yaddy yaddy. That's how Janine the Machine. That's the, that yeah. sounds just like her. Mm. Uh, no, that really is Janine. Oh, that really is. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. She's a real person. You can Google her. New Fierce yeah. Eve. You guys got New Fears Eve is yeah. She lives in Sunnyvale. It's Sunnyvale. Yeah. It's Sunnyvale. Yeah. Nobody knows where that is <laughs> <laughs> except for me. I know where that is. You wrote this. Who wrote this? I did. Man, wow. Yeah. Bars, yo. Yeah. Damn. I've been seeing that a lot on the internet. Like Tyra got bars, man. Tyra got bars. <laughs> and tell oh, that. Yeah. 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 I wrote the lyrics and the melody. Do, do you keep a um, like all of us? No matter what we've accomplished, we all come from a you know the, the culture of hip hop. You know, we're from this hip hop generation. Yes. Do you keep sixteen bars ready just in case? Always. Really? Are you ready? Yeah. Wonder- okay. I wrote this okay. in algebra class in the ninth grade. <laughs> I was in the back row. I was struggling a little bit in class. So uh-huh. I had to, you know, kind of just. And you wrote it in the ninth grade? Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about some measurements that are very different than today. Uh, so it, we go, it, okay. And, are and you mathematics? Ready? Uh, hold up. Give me one second. Ladies and gentlemen, Grace in the mic right now. Mm. Welcome to the Valley of the Hyenas. Oh, hyenas. hyenas. The supermodel edition. <laughs> supermodel edition. <laughs> First time a supermodel has ever done this. I want to make sure this is clear in case the people from Guinness Books of World Records are tuning in right now. Tyra Banks got bars. A hyena! Hey. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, uh. Five. Six, here we go. I'm 34, A, but that's okay, cause the rest of my body is just touche. I'm five foot nine, I look so fine. Yes, all my fellas are so divine. When I'm finished with this, you might as well just dismiss oh. all the other female rappers, cause y'all just piss. My eyes so green, they look so keen. If you had one look, you know what I mean. My hair's so brown, it is always down. And on my face, there never is a frown. When I meet you, will not stand. Get on your knees and kiss my hand. Go, Tyra, get busy. Go, Tyra, get busy. Yeah. We got a hyena up in here. Oh, wow. 13 years old, I wrote that. Wow. Yo, we can't even get rappers to come up here to spit. We got some Tyra. Shit, it's room. I'm t- look, you looking for a manager? Let me know. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Tyra Banks is here. I like that. Thank I keep got me hyped off that, especially when you went up an octave. Oh, mm-hmm. did you I like the, the octave? I, I like reach? that. Yeah, I like that. The flow that. switch up towards the end too. Uh-huh. That chorus. The, the, the yeah. attitude, though. The attitude is what really sold it. Uh, Tyra Banks is here, man. 888-742-3345. Diddy from Cleveland is on the line. Diddy, what up? Diddy. Hmm. Diddy, you JD. Okay, my bad. I got excited. Hey, how y'all doing with this, Sway? I'm doing good. Tyra just spit on Sway in the morning, man. Hey, I heard. I heard. She is a hyena. I'm proud of you, girl. Thank oh, you. you. know, so let me let you know, I've been a fan of yours, Jay, since, you know, since whenever. And Higher Learning is my favorite movie that you played in. I'm proud of you and everything. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie that you about to do. And um, just keep up the good work. And um, you're a beautiful woman. Thank you. Deja. Oh, Deja. Deja. Oh, my God. Now I understand what I, I missed it. That is hilarious. You didn't get it. Get it. Deja. Is that Omar Epps? Yeah. yeah. Deja. That is hilarious. 
<laughs> laying in Lawrence Fishburne's lap. Laser! <laughs> Laser! <laughs> Oh my! Welcome right. to Sway in the Morning. Right. I know so many people have no idea what we're talking, we're talking about. about right no, but we do. Damn it, <laughs> shit. Uh, Karen is on the line from Arizona. Good morning, Karen. Karen. Good morning, Sway. What's up? Hey, Good hey, morning. hey, Happy hey, Friday. hey. What's up, Tara? How are you guys doing? <laughs> She's cracking up. She's laughing. Karen, you I'm good? laughing because the last time we had we had a conversation with Sway, we were talking about peeing on each other, like our significant other. Oh. That's why I'm laughing. But anyway, oh, oh that's wow. you, Karen. Oh, we well, gotta you gotta that's bring Tyra. Me. You gotta bring Tyra in on the conversation. <laughs> okay, Tyra. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to know have how do we feel about our significant other peeing on us or something like that in the shower. No, if you pee in the shower. So basically, I tell him that yeah, if I have to pee, I'll pee in the shower. I'm not gonna get out the shower and like you know pee in the toilet because I'm oh. already in the shower. So that's the conversation we're at. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's okay. <laughs> Karen, you, real. Okay, you got what a question. You, you got a question. <laughs> what is the question, Karen? The question is, uh, and my man is on the phone too. He's on the road. He's driving and flash. Have you guys pray for him? He's in the snow. He's a truck driver, so he's driving right now. All right, he's um, a citizen too. It's way in the morning. All right, go yeah, ahead. He's a sitter. Okay, so the question is, how do you keep your private life? You know, private. It's it's hard. It's, I mean, it seems impossible with everybody always taking out their cameras and you know recording everything. How do you do it? Like, you know, what is your method? Um, my method is not to publicly date guys that slide into my DMs. <laughs> my method is to not really, really seriously date famous people. Uh-huh. I think that when, when you step into that arena, you like open your life to so much. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and I don't put my child on social media. You I know? love that So time. I'm just very private with that type of stuff. But I'll tell you, I started my period and my weave mm-hmm. itch and I'm about to take this wig off. And so I'm very like raw and real about like myself and that type of thing, but not about like personal life. Okay. And you could practice that too, Karen. So next time you call, don't talk about pissing on your husband in the shower, okay? <laughs> I'm, no, no, I didn't say I did that. Oh, no, oh okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's, it's too late. All right. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> All right. We got moving. <laughs> okay, we're going to take one more call. Miss. <laughs> Michelle from Norwalk. Go ahead, Michelle. Good morning. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. What up? What, what up, up? What up? What up? What up? Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Hi. Same to you. Friday. Thank you. So, um, first off, Tyra, I'm surprised, but I'm delightedly surprised that you are a hyena in the building over there at Sway in the morning with the bars. Oh, yes, bar. girl. Bar, yeah, I got son. bars. I got bar, bars. Bars, son. <laughs> Um, I want to say also, I am loving your real woman body with curves. You're, you're, I'm, mm. you're killing TV. I love it. Thank you. And it is amazing to see you be like that uh, and, and enjoy your real woman with curves. Congratulations on your baby. Um, thank and you. Thank you for welcome and welcome to the Mommy Club. But my question was, um, are you doing another curvy edition of America's Top Model? Um, so we are, what, we did 24 seasons of Top Model, mm-hmm. um, so 25 would be nice. Maybe even 25 would be nice to call it a day, like 25, yeah. okay, moving on. Um, I've pitched the curvy season to the p- previous networks in the past, and they turned it down. Um, oh. So I'm only as powerful on certain projects as the people that I pitched to, mm-hmm. and they turned it down. They said yes to a petite season, and I think the, the ratings weren't that good, so they started saying kind of no to more themed stuff. Mm-hmm. But... Um, But it's important for me for every season to have all different types of bodies. And that's always been important to me since season one. So that's the strides that I have been able to make, but not a dedicated season, unfortunately. Michelle, you you heard that? And, you know, I think, Tyra, you might need your own network, though. (laughs) It's to that time now, right? You need your own platform. I know, but just delegate. Can I just come here with you and just spit bars? Yeah, Yeah. you can do that any time. You are a hyena. (laughs) Hey, Michelle, thanks for your call, okay? You guys. All right. All right, thank you, Tyra. Uh, first of all, guys, make sure you watch Life Size Two premiering Sunday, December the second yeah, on Freeform. This Sunday, nine that, o'clock. Oh, that is this Sunday, huh? Yeah, this Sunday, nine o'clock. Freeform is doing something special around Christmas. Uh, Twenty five like, days, days of Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Yeah, every day there's special movies every single day. Mm-hmm. So, um, Life Size is kind of kicking that off, right, guys? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I love Christmas programming. Right? Uh, Isn't it? I love it, it? It makes you feel tickly and good inside. Yeah. What's your favorite like um, Christmas thing? Okay, I'm glad you asked, Tyra. Um, <laughs> Here you go. I, I actually recently uh, um, TV'd um, 
uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. That's mine. That's your joint. Oh, that's mine with that, the heat miser and all that. Heat yeah. oh, my, the heat miser. The heat miser. No way. That's my Wherever right he, there. Goes. he goes. Yeah, that's oh. mine. to melt in my clutch. Yes, that's Santa Claus that is, is coming to town. Oh, that's Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay. <laughs> wow. Santa <laughs> Grinch. <laughs> that okay, is hold my on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had the uh, what do you call it? abominable? He had the shiny nose. How you say abominable? Uh, yeah, yeah, you got you might have added <laughs> a couple of syllables in there. Abominable. I, I had that problem as a kid. I could never say it, but I remember it bounced when it fell off the cliff. Oh, did it bounce? The, the, uh, how you say it? Abominable. Um, abominable. I, I, I abominable. Have, I actually have no idea. <laughs> okay, good. Abom- Abom- abominable. Anyway. Abominable. The oh, one with heat miser is the. Which he one fell is that? off and then he bounced. Santa yeah, Claus he is bounced. Coming to town. Because yeah. yeah. the Santa Claus is coming to town is the yeah. one with heat miser. Okay, so those are my two favorites. Wow. Well, to me, they're like the same one. They feel like it. Like, the little like, Muppets. Is it because they like went back to back when they aired, and so you just thought they were one? Because I think they're one. I thought they were one. Did you? And then little drummer boy. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. One of my favorite Christmas songs. Oh, me too. It was the year without Santa Claus. My bad. <laughs> Everybody. Shit, nobody won. knows that nobody shit. Knows. Yeah. I mean, we know, but it, it, it made an impre- impression on us as yeah. a kid. But anyway, I love that. And I also like uh, when Freeform is doing that kind of uh, scripted um, Christmas programming that always has a happy ending. Yeah. <laughs> it's not enough happy endings we on TV. That. You right? have to. We yeah. need that. And, the, and Life Size is that. Life Size is that feel good Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. And um, the, the, the title of it is Life Size 2 A Christmas Eve. Uh-huh. And the doll that comes to life, her name is Eve. So it's like a little play on words. Yeah. And it really is a, a movie that you can watch with the whole family yeah. or with your boys or with your girls. And what I like about it is the, is the first one was very Disney and very sweet. This sequel is more provocative. Mm-hmm. It's for the freeform audience. So it's older. So there's a lot of those like mm. Pixar jokes mm-hmm. you know where it's like dang they said that mm-hmm. like that's a little sexual but like the kids won't really understand that they'll just think it's you know whatever a line but the adults in the room are like oh damn yeah. so there's, there's a lot that's of that that's that no sex scenes Oh, damn. Um, I think a Christmas we could do this there's, like, sexy, like, sexy, there's very sexy things okay that, that okay happen, I like how you but, put that yes. I like how you put that <laughs> but when you want to see a Christmas movie like for the first time that had a sex scene like a Christmas porn right <laughs> oh gosh what you on free form no, I'm just oh, okay. throwing no, it out there. No, okay, yeah. <laughs> Did anybody ever say you look like Lil X? Huh? Yes. I mean, at first I thought you were him because we're friends, and I was like, oh my Damn, God. Damn, I should have went with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, for a hot second. Hey, but like so you. much that I'm looking at your face, and I was wow. just like, what? Oh, I didn't know that you work here. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, it's not X. It's not X. That's yeah. DB. Yeah. yeah. But do you think Lil X is a handsome guy? I do. Very handsome. There you go, DB. <laughs> Y'all do that assist. I'm good. You good? <laughs> going home. All right, he's out of here. All right, Tyra, thanks for coming by Thank this morning. You. Love you. Thank Keep you. going. You're such an inspiration to so many people, Thanks. including myself. Thank okay. You. Tyra Banks, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got DJ Wonder on Instagram. You can see him live. He's going to go into the mix. Coming up on the show later, who we have? Dennis Quaid and Static Selector and Terminology. It's DJ. He's the DJ. Wonder. Wonder.